I missed out on the end of the story. Um, so I found myself sitting on the couch and I still had certain meetings with like certain clients. I mean, I still have some clients who still call me now and, um, I am technically employed. That's a whole nother story, but, um, to go out and whether it be to PTA functions or to, you know, meet a, meet, meet a client or to meet a friend, um, I was having a really hard time figuring out what I was going to wear, what I felt good and what I felt safe in and what motivated me to leave. Um, and I Googled clothes for depressed people. That's it. Simple. Nothing. Zero. Zilch. Clothes for depressed people. But tons of memes and references to how people are depressed wear sweatpants and, you know, don't look good or elastic. And um, I was talking to a friend yesterday and we were laughing about, you know, those pants with the word pink on the back. Um, depressed would be like, you know, giving up <laughs> on your butt instead of pink. Um, but it had me thinking and I was like, why are there not clothes for us that make us feel safe, that make us feel comforted, that make us feel protected, but that are still acceptable to go outside. Um, so that's where Trauma Tire came from. Um, and every item has very intentional customization, whether it be a message, whether it be material and weighted, um, weighted pellets, or uh, what else did I say? I think that's it, or colors. Um, so colors, fabric, textures, messaging. And the first, this, I'll show you the first thing because you've seen it on the YouTube. But um, this is what I drew. And it is the signature jacket. It's the Trauma Tire coat. And it would have style and safety embossed in the leather lapels. Um, but it would be a hooded coat. And you would have a sash around your waist with trauma attire. Um, but that's detachable too, if you don't want trauma tire to be seen. Um, so anyway, this is how it started, and I have since, why is this all crooked? Um, I'm gonna get this right. And I have since drawn and come up with another, like, ten pieces. Um, and I will talk about those more in detail as the weeks, pro, you know, go on. Um, but that's it. That's the beginning um, so it started with jury duty and it kind of just started with the state of our world and then um, the situation at work kind of pushed me over the edge and voila, here I am.